Hello and welcome to the Battle Lounge. This is part two of building the Battle Lounge and in this video we're going to look at the first fix. So basically the first fix is all the wires and cables and pipes and tubes and everything that you need to go into the build that's important to go in first before you start plastering and things like that. So for this first fix we use Twin and Earth. This is 1.5mm for the lighting and then we use a 2.5mm for the ring main. The ring main is all the sockets. The 1.5 that we use for the lighting cable isn't a ring main, that just is daisy chained to each light so it doesn't need to come back whereas with the sockets the reason it's called ring main is because it goes from one socket to the next to the next to the next all the way around the room all the building and back to that consumer unit so my first job was to run the lighting cables all the way around to the left and then all the way around to the right and up and over and to the other side So these are the clips that I use to attach all this cabling and the reason why I use these is because they're a really good safety feature rather than using the little plastic ones that, that hammer in. These are metal so if there's a fire it keeps the cables all in place which is obviously a great uh, safety feature but also they're really easy to use because you could just whiz them in with a screw and then tap them down with a little hammer just to hold everything in place. So once you've run your cables through, you need to know which cables are going where. So on each end, you can either write on them to mark them or you can curl them up, make notches in them, tie them in knots, anything that will help you to remember what cable needs to be connected up to what light. Right, so I've run all the cable in, all the lighting cable anyway, and I originally had it set up so that some of it was mood lighting. So on these steel beams that come across here, uh, I was just going to have some pendants coming down with the filament bulbs. And that was just going to be on a normal circuit going down to a dimmer switch. And that was going to be my main switch. The one I come in to turn my lights on, it was going to be those. The rest of it was all going to be Philips Hue. So it was all controlled by um, an Alexa. Um, but Philips Hue have just brought out, or is just about to bring out, some filament bulbs, which are also LED dimmable. And so I've decided I'm just going to get those. They're a bit more expensive, but it just means I can put all the light in on one circuit and then I can just control everything from Alexa or my telephone. Um, and then all I've got to worry about is just having one light switch. So because of that, I've just got to join all the box, all the wires up in this box. It's just a terminal box, and I've got these. Um, just looks, just works like a massive. Um, where are we? Just works like a massive junction box, really. So I can get everything in there. I can daisy chain a couple of them up. So I've got a couple for live, a couple for neutral, um, and then. Obviously the earths go into another one, all connected up and then it'll all be in this box up by the consumer unit and then I'll just have obviously a lead coming down for the switch, a lead going back up for power supply and that's it, that's just one switch. It'll be switched on, it'll be left on and then the bulbs because they're all Wi-Fi bulbs, each, 
individual bulb can be turned off, as I say, just through my phone or Alexa. Um, there is going to be one other switch, which is going to be the ceiling fan, which is up there. It's going to have a light in it, but I'm going to have the light turned off. I'm not worried about the, the light on that. I just want it for the fan, but they all come with light. So this is going to be a big ceiling fan. I'm going to try and get the biggest one that I can find to fill that space because I want something nice and epic if I can. Yeah, so I'm going to crack on with that. Um, as soon as I've done that, I'm going to run the ring main for the sockets. Okay matey boys, thanks for watching the video. Um, we've done all the wiring now, so the next stage is going to be putting the rest of these beams up, plasterboard in, and then when that's done, we can start the plastering. And once the plastering has started, the whole thing will start taking shape and we'll be able to see this usable space um, and give us a little bit of a better idea of what it's gonna look like when it's finished. So as I say, thanks for watching and we'll join you in the next one.